Well, hello. Um, oh, I've got hangover. You have to excuse me. Oh, lemonade. I went to a Halloween party last night. So, yeah, we're good. We're good. And uh, this is what I look like. Yeah, um, so, right, two starters. I haven't had a look yet. I've just took about the fermenting chamber. To be honest, the. I left them out for 24 hours. Because when I woke up the next morning at 6 o'clock or whatever it was, I forgot all about them. So I got home from work on Friday. And, um, yeah, I got home from work. I'm. I got home from work on Friday. I pulled them straight in, put them straight into the fermenting chamber. I didn't even look at them because I was uh, having dropped my daughter off at rugby, so it could be dark when I got back. So anyway, um, it's now Sunday, so I put them out on Thursday. I brought them in. To the, I took them into the fermenting chamber on um, Friday. Yeah, so Thursday, Friday, and now it's Sunday morning. So I'm going to have a look. So. I don't know. I don't know whether they've worked or not. Anyway, this is the one that I put on the kegs underneath the apple trees. Um, so. Oh! Ho ho! Ho ho! You see that? We have. Wow! God, there's, there's, there's crap all on the bottom as well, it's gone bloody mad. Well, that's it. I don't even see it. Yeah, you see it there. Oh. Don't smell great, but don't smell bad. Right, this is the one that I put on the herb garden. Oh, this one's gone as well. Jesus Christ. There you see, crap on the bottom. Got a bit of a to the top. Yeah. Crap. Should we smell this one? Do you know what? Don't smell bad. I'm actually very surprised. I didn't know whether it was going to be working or not. Obviously it does work, but I thought... Who'd have thought it, eh? Who'd have thought it? Right, it's got two new stars. So what I'm going to do is... I haven't thought about this bit. <laughs> I didn't expect it to work. I've got hangover. Oh, I've got to put this sealed. Something sealed. What can you use? Alright, I'm not going to use. Watch your space. Right, so, I'll just cover them up. Um, I've got this jar, I've got my conical flask. So that's what they're going in. Um, I'll just maybe soak your star sound for now for 10 minutes so I'm going to warm them up a little bit because I don't want to shock uh, the yeast uh, I'm going to put in some, uh, some warm water if boiled and cold water this is This one, if you what I'm going to do, some sugar in. And I'll put in a bit tomorrow as well. I'm not going to put in much. So you've got to, I don't know, two teaspoons, two or three teaspoons. So this can all go in there. Do you know what? You see why the beer is sour. It's not a sour taste taste. It's not, not really sour, but it's um. This is what 
på här. Och så åmår den här. Probably what heat is in it. It's really sitting at 19 and a half degrees in the fermenter. What heat is in there? It always gets sucked out. I don't know what it'll shock with the yeast or whatever. Right. That's just brewing sugar. They, they, they smell the same, so obviously you've got the same yeast. Yeah, right, now this has got a lid. But I'm not going to put it on airtight. I'm going to rest it on. This, on the other hand, this is going to kitchen jugs back again. Um, this, on the other hand, I'm going to make sure that the sugar's gone. I'm not going to put it on a stir plate just for the fact is my my bar keeps on flying off and need to get a new bar. Um, okay, what? This is going on. That'll be all right. So yeah, on Tuesday, this Tuesday coming, I'm going to be doing another brew. So it's now just Sunday. So these are going to have to sit for another couple of days. And uh, they're going to carry on, get loads and loads of yeast cells in there, so they make obviously for a good decent start starter. And I'm going to do a pale ale. Uh, I'm going to use US05 for that, but obviously I'm going to keep two gallons back uh, for two demijohns, and these are going to go in the demijohns for the wort. Fermenting off in the fermenting chamber, I'll probably leave them in there for a couple of weeks, see how they go, see if they're still going after a couple of weeks. If they're not, then I'm going to bring them in. I'm going to rack them into a into some more demijohns, and then I'm going to leave them in here. Well, actually, I'll see what what gravity they are first. It might not brewed out or whatever. So I'm going to leave them in here because when when the door shut, it's pitch black in here, so there'll be no light problem. And then I'll see over. I'll say over the winter. I don't know how long they're going to leave them. If you can leave any any uh, tips, regards to how long you uh, how long for a sour is ready. Uh, leave it in the comments below. I'd much appreciate it because I've never done one before. Um, watch your space, really. I'm quite pleased with that though. I mean, that's gone bloody bonkers. That's two days. So, I've you know, got some more shit in. I'll check them tomorrow. And then uh, brew it on Tuesday. So, I'll do another video Tuesday of the brew day. And crack on. I'll see you soon.